Welcome to my Terrain Collection version 3 update tutorial. Here I will show you how to get all my assets into UEFN, how to mesh paint and how to use the newest version of my conversion website. First I'll show how to get my assets into UEFN. First create a new project or use an existing project if you already have one. After it has been created you will go and take the ported assets folder and copy it into your project. Usually found in documents, Fortnite project and then the respective project you want to paste it in. You have to go into plugins and this content folder right here. And here you can just paste it in. After you paste it in, the folder might already be there as well as the materials and stuff, but sometimes they will not be present. In that case, just restart UEFN. Nothing different so far since my last video. I should mention though that Updating from version 2 to version 3 will not be possible unless a lot of effort is put into it. I'm sorry that I keep making breaking changes, but I've changed a lot. For example, I have re-imported all of the different terrain models. Some are even new. Other new things include the Leaky Lake Vortex. The Season 6 Leaky Lake Vortex. It even has the purple glowing stuff, but only at a specific height. This height can be configured in the material instance. Other new things include jungle materials. What is also new are some new floor models. For example, the crater model from season 4, the season 5 Lazy Links golf bunkers, both of them, as well as some other new models which I have found. Something that is also new in my terrain collection is a fully functioning landscape. As you can see this right here is season 3. In the Unreal project I have a landscape showcase level which you can see right now. And it just has the different landscapes from different seasons. Like season 5, season 8, season 10, basically is every major season at least once. In this landscape you can well paint anything you want. You can change how the map looks, you can create your own map. The only thing that is missing from this landscape is the season 6 corruption area. If you would like to contribute to this terrain collection Please try to get Jason as asset working in an Unreal project and try to import the season 6 landscape so I can recreate the corruption area accurately. The only other thing that's missing is the season 10 Katus thing. One thing I should note, if you are recreating Athena be mindful that from season 8 beyond the farm grass layer is actually the jungle layer. As you can see the spawn island here is jungle and this part of the map is also jungle but in the layer file it's actually called farm grass layer info. Some other layers are also not present mainly foliage like flowers, crater overgrowth, arid rock detail. Most of these are not present. As you can see my landscape doesn't have any foliage. 
I don't know if I'll add any foliage to it. If I am going to add foliage, then it will be in a future update. Now onto mesh painting. Mesh painting can only be done in the Unreal project of the Terrain Collection. That is because, well, mesh paint is present. Unlike in UEFN where it isn't present for whatever reason. What mesh painting allows you to do is to paint stuff like roads, mud and gravel onto models. Which color you have to use for each respective thing varies from material to material. There are a few constants however. Most of the time the red channel is the road. Green with alpha channel 1 is as you can see mud. Blue is usually the gravel. Sometimes black is also mud and grass with their respective alpha channels. Again this varies from material to material, but most of the materials that are for terrain use the ones described earlier. Something I should note, if you have painted something on a model, you have used mesh paint on a model, it may or may not show up in UEFN. In my case, I never got it to show up. For example, this floor would be regular green in UEFN. But I have seen other people where mesh paint does show up. The most reliable way to see if a mesh is actually painted is to view it in-game. In case you have a level with mesh paint, you can just migrate the entire level to your UEFN project. Now on to my update to the conversion website. You can now use the recreated terrain when you are importing a level. You have to specify the path to where the terrain collection is located in UEFN. In this case, it would just be the name of the project since I don't have my terrain collection any subfolders. So I will write in terrain underscore collection re re and apply that. Now if I convert a level, for example Salty Springs, and copy that, I can paste it in. And it should use the models of my terrain collection instead of the ones from the actual game. It also tries to use the proper material also from my terrain collection, but there may be mistakes I have made. So if you notice any model or material that is in my collection but doesn't get used when converting a level, please let me know on the GitHub page of my website. What you also can do is overwrite biome detection. When converting a level, it will try to automatically detect the biome. So for example, I have season 3 here and I will now Convert shifty shafts, which is usually in the mountain biome. As you can see, it automatically detected the mountain biome. With this feature, you can overwrite the auto detected biome. So, for example, I can make it the farm biome instead of mountain. There. As you can see, it's the farm biome instead of mountain. When using this feature, an empty input will result into game being inserted. 
This is because game is a special word. If you use game as your project folder, then it will actually use the regular Unreal 5 material instances, so they can be used in your in the Unreal 5 project in case you need broken vertex colors, like these ones for example. If you have downloaded the Unreal project, then you will need to use Unreal version 5.3.2. I have not tested what happens if you use an earlier or later version, so I recommend using this one. That just about covers everything about the new update. If you want me to port any models, materials or just want to help this collection out, feel free to leave a comment or an issue on my GitHub for the conversion website. Full disclaimer. I will not be porting anything past chapter 1. Thanks for watching.